Hey, in this episode of Doc's Boost, we're going to talk about PTFE hoses. That means it's a fuel line hose that'll take just about any kind of fuel you want to throw at your vehicle. E85, ethanol, methanol, combinations, pump gas, 91 octane, 93 octane, 100, 110, whatever you want to pass through that fuel line, it's going to take because it has a Teflon inner core. And what we're going to do is walk step by step into cutting the hose and putting the fittings on the hose. Pure and simple. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doc, and you're watching Doc's Boost because you know I'm going to give you the truth about high-performance maintenance, high-performance upgrades, and getting out there and having some high-performance fun with your ride. Dream it, <laughs> build it, and drive it like you stole it. So there's an assortment of tools that you'll need, AN tools specifically for the sizes. They fit perfectly. I bought a set of these, just three of them, eight, sixes, and ten. These to get into all different kinds of angles. You can see that the that the that even though these are both a six, they angled slightly different than what's angled on that side. So it all really helps. It really does matter. I got a couple of adjustables because when it comes to fittings, this is the AN size. And this is not an AN size. This is something a little different in between. So for this for example, this is a this is an 8N. So an 8N wrench fits perfectly. But it doesn't fit here or here. You take a 10, which is the next step up, and it's way too big for either of those slots. So that's where the adjustable comes in, so you can tighten them home. And that's why I have a pair of them, because sometimes you need to clamp on that piece as well as that piece. So you need a pair. That's why I bought a pair. These are adapters for your vise, so they'll hold the AN fittings just the way you want them to be held. You can drop it in there and the magnets hold it in place. However, however, if you have a small vise like I do, these are going to rock. They're going to angle off like this. And they're going to do that. Even after you got it tight and straight, the chances of them rocking and pinching are great. I did just that right there. So, wow. Go out and buy a new vise. Or I bought these. I found these at Ace Hardware. I stick them right under there. So the magnet now has a better chance of staying, grabbing more in the middle of the jaw and they stay flat and they won't pinch. Just a tip. I already had an assortment of rigid tools as you can see. So I opted out to buy the rigid three inch cutter to zip right through those hoses. I'm going to show you how to cut. We're going to put one fitting on one hose and it's the same no matter what size hose you're working with. This is the old hose. We're going to replace it with this hose. So in measuring it, I always want you always want to make sure that if you measure the length, add an inch or two. I like to go two inches because you don't want to have it tight between the connections. You want to have it loose between the connections. This is right. This is wrong. So I measured my PTFE hose with the old hose for the right same position and I'm going to cut it a couple of inches longer. See that? I cut it a couple of inches longer. So I've already cut that hose, but I don't want to cheat you out of seeing me do it. So I got a piece of hose right here. What you want to do when you cut the hose is you want to put tape around where you're going to cut it. If you want to cut it at this point right here, you want to make sure that the tape goes past that point of cut. All right. And these are the best cutters. A cutting wheel, a cutting tool and a small cutting wheel. It's like a hundred bucks. I think I on sale hundred bucks. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a nice clean cut. See that? Nice and clean. Shave it off. Shave. 
and you really want to make sure that you get it flat as you can because inside of there I don't know if you can see it but that Teflon core has to go all the way through and butt up against the end of that now I'll try to show you as much as that as possible as we move through this so now that we made the cut and we can see that we cut really flat really straight across that's really important and the tape stays there so it doesn't fray so you get the inside and the outside cut straight and clean and that's important and that's what the tape helps you to help you to do so we'll put that sample away and we'll grab the one we're working with and you want to be careful bending this you don't want to bend it really in a short radius because you'll damage the Teflon core so just make sure that you give it room wherever you're going to use it okay but that's pretty much normal for any kind of hose that you're working with anyway all right so there you got it so the first thing you got to do is take the fitting part and the threaded part facing out and you put it over there you put it over the taped edge and push it in place all right so now it's in place now you take the tape off take the tape off and take a sharp pick and you want to work the edges of that hose away from the Teflon core pushing it back and up at the same time and be careful not to poke or damage the Teflon core while you're doing it okay I think I'm done working it and you're gonna take this and I don't know how close I can get before it gets really blurry but deep inside of there but now I have the ferrule and you can see the ridges in there and those ridges are what creates the seal but right there is the edge where that edge of the Teflon tube is going to butt right up against that surface right there when you buy the kit they come with this tool and it helps to get that tube round okay take the Teflon or take the, the ferrule and push it down in there and we're almost to the edge almost I take the rubberized edge so I don't damage the surface and tap it on there until I can no longer see a space on the inside and that looks pretty good I got a pretty good I got a really good cut and I got it down in there here this just pushes inside but before we do that we want to shove that down in place okay that'll create a tight seal against those ribs that were in there and we're going to coat a little bit of oil around this edge so it pushes in really easy if you don't put the oil on there it's going to fight you to the death I guarantee it brand new supercharger oil <laughs> and I'm going to get a little bit on my glove put just a little bit on there you don't need a whole lot you can see it got shiny and then there's a little bit on there okay and then it shoves in there pretty darn easy and you can feel it go past the ribs and it's home and you can see that there's no gap and it went in pretty darn easy so what we're going to do first is just slide the fitting over the outer casing and start the threading and it's going to get really tight right here towards the end and that's you have to use a vise as your best bet to finish off the job we're going to clamp this portion in the vise and uh, and then use the wrench to finish bringing it home there you go just like that see that grips them pretty darn good tries not to nick them or anything so we got to screw it all the way home till we get these two ends to touch we have to use an adjustable 
because this is not an AN fitting. This is one of those in-betweeners. It's a, looks like it's about a nine and there is no nine AN wrench out there. So that's why I got adjustables and, and sometimes uh, it's pretty handy to have two. So I bought two. And this is the easiest way to finish off the job. See, and that's how that would pinch. If I had, didn't have those bars in there, this would collapse and pinch. It pinched my hand and my man there, leaning over the top like that. So those little extra bars are really important. But I still try to steer clear. Almost there. Almost there. And I'm there. Okay, and there's the finished product right there. That's ready for installation. <laughs> after we do the other side. So you do, no matter what size of, of PTFE fittings that you use, you do them all the same. And, and it's also important for you to know that that reaming tool that I was talking about that I used, this tool right here, so you can round out that Teflon inner core. The tools like this come in single sizes, and this one's for an 8AN hose. And they come free with the kit, as long as you get <laughs> a kit that does include them. They don't come automatically in all kits. So I found this at Summit Racing, and this is kind of a universal Teflon <laughs> hose reaming tool so it covers three four five and six eight ten and twelve size an <laughs> and it's a pretty handy tool to have they're about 61 dollars at summit racing so let's keep the session going by viewing that video right there that i have personally selected for you i'll see you in that video in just a moment and thanks for watching